In this video, we're going to walk through the Java Bat practice problem, Parrot Trouble. So the description is that we have a loud talking parrot. The hour parameter is the current hour time in the range 0 to 23. We are in trouble if the parrot is talking and the hour is before 7 or after 20. Return true if we are in trouble. Okay, so we're given a method called Parrot Trouble and we're told if the parrot is talking and what time it is. And we want to return true if the parrot is talking at a bad time of day. So looking at this method, it has two parameters. The first one is a boolean named talking, and the second one is an integer named hour and it's supposed to return a boolean. So, booleans, remember, are a primitive type that have one of two values. They're either true or they're false. Integers are used for storing numbers, and there obviously are more than two numbers, but we're going to be interested in that number if it's less than 7 or after 20. You know, we're going to have to check that range somehow. So knowing that this returns a boolean, we can sort of go ahead and make a basic stab at what the function is going to look like. We're going to fill that dot 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 in in a second. It is not valid Java code. So we're going to say if something return true, otherwise return false. Remember a boolean can only be true or false, so this should be the right framework for this function. So if it wasn't for that pesky hour parameter, we could write our method this simply. If we ran that, we would pass a few of the tests, but we obviously fail two of them. Specifically, we fail one where the hour was 7, and we returned false excuse me, we returned true, but Java Bat was expecting false. And we also failed the test where the parrot was talking and the hour was 20, and they expected to get false, but we returned true. So that just means that we weren't looking at the hour parameter, so we need to do something about that. So we need to say, if the parrot is talking and the hour is bad. So how do we express that? Well, there's two ways in which the hour can be bad. It can either be less than 7 or it can be greater than 20. And I'm going to walk through why we need these parentheses in just a moment. But let's go ahead and run this and see if it's correct. Okay, we got it. So let's look at this a little bit more closely. There are just a couple things you need to take away from this example. We're going to look at the AND, the OR, and why we need these parentheses. So the first thing to talk about is what this AND does. So it is an example to understand the AND, you need to know a little bit about Boolean logic. So I'm going to put a comment in here that walks through a table that you'll see a lot if you're programming, or really you'll remember it pretty quickly, but it's the four possible values for two Booleans and an AND sign. So true and true is true true and false is false, false and true is false, false and false is false. Okay, so these little arrows here, they, that's not Java, that's just me making an arrow. But these are the four possibilities when you see an AND sign. And really, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it. For the whole 
thing to be true. Both the left side and the right side have to be true. They both have to be true. And sort of A and B. If either one of them is false, they aren't both true, and so the whole thing evaluates to false. So that's what this little AND guy does. The next thing to look at is this OR right here, the two vertical pipes. And let me make a table for it. So true or true is going to be true. True or false is going to be true. False or true is true. And only false or false is false. And again, this one makes sense because it's an OR. Uh, Either or has to be true. If both of them are true, that's great. That's all the better. You know, it, it's true as well. But the only time an or value is going to be false is if both of them are false. So that should make a little bit of sense. You know, if the hour is like 6 a.m., you know, Hour less than 7 would be true, but hour greater than 20 would be false. But since it's an OR, the true and the false together, when they're combined with the OR, would be true. And so then it would just depend on whether or not the parrot was talking. So that's how the AND works, and that's how the OR works. Let me talk about these parentheses a little bit. One thing you need to understand about Java is that the AND naturally has a higher order of precedence than the OR. And what that just means is that if you had something like, well, let's just look at the example here. If I remove these parentheses and go, the tests start to fail. Because what happens in this case is the AND is stickier than the OR, and so it's almost like I have parentheses around here, where talking AND hour less than 7, those two get considered first. And for example, you can see in this test where It just doesn't work out right. So for this one that fails, it was given false and 21 as the parameters. So talking would be false. Hour less than 7 would be uh, false. But hour greater than 20 is true. And so because of the we have these parentheses in the wrong place right now, simulating what happens if we had no parentheses at all. And so false and false is false. So this whole thing right there becomes false. But false or true is true. And so we return true. So there's an order of precedence that when you have a few things together, for example, three, we basically have three terms in this if statement. We have talking hour less than 7 and hour greater than 20. Order of precedence is what determines which two get paired up first. And the important thing to remember is that the AND is stickier than the OR, and so we have to use parentheses to force the stickiness that we want. So we want the two hour things to be checked and then ANDed with talking. So go ahead and run that, and we got it right. And one last thing is we don't actually need this complicated structure. We can just go ahead and return it like this. I just like to do the if statement and the else to make it a little bit more clear about what's going on. All right, thanks for watching, and enjoy the videos.